Hello muckers, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, good to have you along. Now somebody said to me the other day, mucker, we haven't had a giveaway uh, for quite a while. And you're right. So stick to the end of this video because I will be asking you a question. We'll put all the names of those that comment uh, into a random generator and we'll draw out two or three names and you can win stuff like, I don't know, t-shirts, uh, hoodies or whatever, mugs stickers, so on and so forth. Anyway, um, I was given the opportunity to go and look at a bit of kit this week, uh, which was great in itself, but I was also able to meet up with basically an agricultural engineering legend and spend some time with him. So let's go and have a look. Now, back in 2016, I went along and filmed a current, back then, 2016, the fact sugar beet harvester uh, and I think I must have been using a potato if you look at the quality back then but anyway uh, I was really keen to go and see it because it was you know um, years ahead in uh, technology from what I had been used to which was the the facts of the 1990s so uh, the other day when I got a call and was invited to come along and look at the very latest incarnation of sugar beet harvester from Vivat, um I was there like a shot. Right, so we're in the latest of that beet harvester. Uh, and they've come on leaps and bounds from back when I was on beet, which I think now over sort of 30 years ago. And today we're joined by Benny, and not only is he the operator, Benny, you're on the design team of this, haven't you? Yes. So, um, I mean, technology moves every year and you've got the competition and whatever, and that always try and stay ahead, we know that. But what are the biggest changes you've made, do you think, uh, to this machine over all the others? It's uh, mainly the cap is new. Yeah. That's the reason that we take some other options with it. And what we changed in this is a complete new computer system. Who's working precisely? Quicker and more possibilities. Yeah. Like the tank unload is also full and proportional automatic unload, but 30% quicker unload. Than really? Load. Yeah. And less wear on the chain elevator, etc. We use just the speed and the running on the chains, but necessary. This is a good benefit for lifetime. Yeah. And generally, in the machine, the, the head of the lift and the top was new since four years. Uh, there are also still improvements in it. This one has a roller bed, it's yeah. possible roller bed or turbines. The mainframe, the lift and they're all the same. You have the possibility for turbines. Well, it just gives you a lot more options yes. to do this, doesn't yes. it? Yeah. And, and like you were saying with the, with the electronics now, where it tends to be as a new machine comes out there's more and more electronics you've actually made it less and less and less so they're com they're not everywhere now they're combined in what five about five, yes, yeah, five electronic yeah. yeah five models so if and there's in the bars we have 
So you halve the amount of electronics, or the amount with different boxes. Yes. So at least if there's a problem now, you can bring it up with the diagnostics yes. on the screen, yes. and you know where it is rather than trying to find. Yeah. That's a lot. What processor they are, the problem, and also what pin you have to check for power or whatever. Really, it's all the information worldwide. Uh, for the, the drivers or the mechanics yeah. of the, the, the machines. <laughs> right, the, now these guys are doing all the parameters and everything and monitoring what Benny's actually seeing in the harvester itself. But also, if you look at this, what is all that? You can see all the machines active right now. What, all over Europe? Yep. That is crazy. Right, so you guys then basically, if as Benny's going along in the harvester, you can see what's happening from this fan. Yeah, that's right. And you can alter stuff from this fan. Yeah, we can see what he's doing, where he is, and chasing. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. And so... Therefore, he, what he can see on his screens, you can see. And if there's an issue, you can actually alter that without getting out, without going on the machine itself. You can do it from here. Yeah, that's right. That's the great value of uh, for Valve Connect. Right. Now, Chris, you as much as anyone knows how far the beet harvester has come over the years. You think about it, the old trial machines, then we had self-propelled, then we had self-propelled with a little tanker on a little hopper, and then you started getting the, tank, the proper tankers. Um, and realistically, in this country especially, I mean, you had, like the main players were Roycam and then Vivat, um, and Vivat then just really took over and especially in this region that's all we've really ever seen and then you know over the years progression what the last sort of 20 30 years and we've ended up with this and that it's we just have which is the pinnacle now incredible incredible i mean like the, they say got oh, got a new cab maybe when people say oh got a new cab how quiet is that in there that's lovely isn't you know, it do you know what i mean it's just lovely how it's laid out and whatever then he started talking about oh, the dreaded, you know, well, as everything gets newer, everything gets more complicated. They haven't. No, this is sort of uh, as good as it gets as far as the balance goes, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, they've, they've, with all the, obviously you've got all your electrical boxes and whatever, they've gone from 10 down to five. But also, when there is something that needs fine tuning, they can actually do it now, not even just in the machine. Oh no, no. Remotely. Having been out of the beat job for 20 odd years, to come back and see the, the latest bit of kit has been just incredible. It's mind blowing. Right, question time. Now, this is quite an easy one, or is it? If you were able to spend an hour to chat with anyone, that could be friends, family, someone no longer with us, someone from history, someone famous, whatever, who would it be and why? Put your answers in the old squid pit below, in the old comment section. And everyone that does comment there, your name will automatically go into the old random generator and that'll pull three winners out and you'll win a mug, t-shirt, stickers whatever but 
Who would you spend an hour talking with and why? Let us know. Now, I have to say that for me to spend that time with Benny and listening about you know what he did to design that and the other machines was just fantastic. And I have to thank you guys for that because over the years you've supported this channel, you know, uh, and your thumbs up, your likes to the videos, your, you know, when you subscribe and follow us, um, it all helps and it doesn't cost you a penny. So I'd like to say thank you very much for your support. And if you'd like to continue doing that, as I said, just give it a thumbs up, a like, you know, um, subscribe so you don't miss out on videos. That means we can do a lot more and bring a lot more content to you guys. But yeah, thank you for that one. Right, muckers. Anyway, we better get on then. Until the next one. Do well. <laughs>